It was all a dream on the scene, making me. Then I came along and changed everything. From ciphers to diapers. Green jiggly things. But the grind don't stop. We just got a bigger team. Called the weight to the top. Mom, what does that mean? The time is now or never. We, we are dream, dream team. team. <laughs> I was going to get paid for this. What's up, guys? It's your girl, Lyric Kane, a.k.a. Nini, a.k.a. whatever it is that you want to call me. Back with yet another reaction video, as requested in the comment section on any one of my other videos. Today, I have the honors of reacting to Hobson, No Shame, that's the name of the album, by the way, Hotel in Sydney. So, a while ago, I had the opportunity to check out another one of his ill minds, where he got to basically express himself, speaking to his child in a situation with his baby mother, and everybody in the comment section Per my DMs, per my emails, per my everything was yelling I needed to check out this particular track. It adds on to that storyline. So I'm super duper excited to finally be able to do that. You already know the original video link will be in the description box down below. As well as all of my social media links. Please make sure that you follow us on IG and Facebook. Best friends since birth. Also check out my music page on IG. Lyric Kane Official. Also in the description box down below, you'll be able to find my other YouTube channel. Make sure you head over there and check out your girl. You already know I'm over there dropping bars and spent some of my own. Head over there, check it out, let me know what you think. If you like what you hear, go ahead and give that video a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on all of my latest music videos, original songs, cover songs, remakes, remixes, challenges, and live performances. I know I ain't dropped none over there in a cool minute, but for like the last two weeks, I've been dropping new material. So y'all need to go over there and check that out. But without further ado, the sound is adjusted. This song is jotted down on my note sheet. And we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Are you guys letting me go now? Yeah, I'm afraid not, you fucking dog of a cunt. Mm. What's going on, dickhead? Officer, you said I was only going to be here for 30 minutes. It's been five hours, man. What's yeah, going on? So he went to jail in Australia. What the fuck are you talking about? That's what I got from it. Man, this is stupid. He said a wombat. Now, your missus claims you're sort to that. Bloody oath, mate, why'd you fucking beat her? Man, I didn't fucking beat her. Listen, I'm telling you, I got her the engagement ring that she liked, booked a new flight to come to Sydney just to see her start a new life. And she's 20 weeks pregnant, and I was trying to do right for Aww. us, the family, the kid, but maybe I was too nice. My homie texted me a picture, and I just burst into anger with my girl in a bed with a personal trainer. I text my homie like, yo, where you find this? He said, Snapchat, bro. It's all on my timeline. Shit. Oh! I swear it struck a fucking nerve in my chest. I looked at my girl and said, get a paternity test. She said, no. Don't you get all worked and upset. I only slept in his bed right after work just to rest. I said, what? You expect me to believe that? How Come on. I'll yeah, relax. Guess it doesn't seem bad. My girlfriend's with a buff nigga getting d bag. <laughs> Officer, correct me if I'm wrong, but she needed her head detached. I said, bitch, I can't believe this shit. Does he know you're pregnant? Is that his kid? Look how big my head is. This whole town y'all having sex and shit. What type of nigga will fuck a pregnant chick? I said, let's get this paternity test. I'm not kidding, bitch. She said, no, I'm not getting it. Officer, I ain't seen her in months. I couldn't trust the lying hole. Plus, she told me she slept with this guy before. And then I said, Dang. you know what? Forget it. It's all good. Never mind. Shit was making my blood pressure high. I love her unconditionally, you know? I can't pretend I ain't never lie. For the moment, I guess I'll let her slide. She said, if you don't want to take care of this kid, Marcus, to say so. I said, wait, no, it's mine too. I can't go. How are you going to support this kid without me? You don't make dough. She said, ha, 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 I make loads. She had six grand cash. I said, but she was broke two weeks ago. How you making chips that fast? She said, I bartend. I made it all in tips, ha, ha. I said, girl, you must take me as a big jackass. I'm like, please. We both know money is hard to come by. Her bullshit mm. might fly over the heads of some guy. Officer, she's always telling dumb lies. She said, I bartend, duh, from tips. I'm a waitress. I said, where'd you get the cash from? She started stuttering like, uh, Marcus, a waitress. I said, where'd you get the cash from? She said, okay, okay, I tell you, just promise me you won't get mad. I'm like, baby, where'd you get the cash from? She said, I work at a strip club. It's how I made the six grand. Damn. I said, whoa. No. No! I fell down in tears. My heart broke. Hey, bro, he getting his Eminem on in this one. I'm in love with doing whole shit. If she needed cash, I would have loaned it. If she knows it, they won't let me loan it. Fun on this twenty thousand dollar ring. Fuck my head hurts. I need some ibuprofen. Yeah, Mr. Austin, you need a minute. Um, may I have some water, please? I know where he's at. 
I don't mean to cry and get emotional, but all this just bothers me. <laughs> I'm loving the way that they chose to do this creatively wise. Creative wise, I mean. Like the whole storyline. I wasn't me no more. I looked her in the eyes and straight told her. Or just say her I need you to tell me where the strip club's at. All this family we about to have is over. I said, tell me where it's at. She said, no. I said, you about to make me mad. She said, so. I said, ah! she better panic and run. The damage is done. You doing this four months away from having my son. Damn. She stripping while she pregnant? I had one question and she couldn't share the back. The strip club, how come she couldn't tell me where it's at? True dishonor and tried to cover it, saying I'm an abusive monster, this bullshit. <laughs> and that fast, poof, all of her wrongs are in the past. Cool. She's just a innocent white girl, and I'm the black guy who always gets mad. True. I know y'all about to make it hard for me to get back in Australia, man. This shit is fucking sad, dude. I still don't know if this baby is mine or not, so when he's born, who's gonna be the fucking dad? You? Okay, real quick. I can't get over the fact if y'all look really close at this picture. Why well, like the snake is breastfeeding on Hobson's nipple? <laughs> okay, y'all know I got a dirty mind. But OMG! Loved it. Um not only did I love the storyline, y'all know I love uh, music that tells story. We know Hobson has that ability that is a talent within itself. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. But I love the way it was just played out. Like, it wasn't necessarily a song. It was literally, like, an audio book. Like, sitting here listening, and then with the talking in between, like, whoever came up with that concept, A1, son. Like, that right there was definitely dope. Definitely something different. I absolutely loved it. Definitely gave more of an insight on what took place. Oh, girl was wild. And, like, I mean, obviously, this is still one side of the story, and I'm girl gang all day. But since I'm going to go off of what I do have, and that's his side of the story, she was wild. Like, who, who is paying for a pregnant stripper? That's what I really need to know, okay? My question is, who's in the room? The, the, the chick that's pregnant who's willing to strip? Or the dude that's paying to see a pregnant stripper? Like, where they do that at? Apparently, Australia. But, like... And why would you put that on Snapchat knowing his friends follow you like? <sighs> Maybe Australians like luck, like pregnant cooter cat or something like that. Because the first you got, there's just too much going on. Like, <sighs> it's, and it's the crazy part. Like, it's not even just this situation. I've seen a lot of situations where women are given the upper hand and guys and it's not even all the time like oh because you're black and this person's white i've seen it where both individuals are of the same race it's just this ideal that whenever an argument or a disagreement takes place and things seem to get physical that it's always the woman who has to be the victim and as a woman myself i can definitely vouch and say we are very manipulative and we we tend to get what we want so it is possible that she 
shape this situation to do exactly what she wanted as he said it's just crazy to me but i will say this much about the storyline and i don't know because i wasn't there and i don't know hobson personally so who he portrays himself as an artist can be totally different who he is as a lover or in a relationship but i know he made himself seem hella innocent and hella calm like just tell me where the club was. Did anybody else catch those vibes? Like he was just so calm. Babe, just tell me where the club was. And he said it again. Just tell me where the club was. But he never raised his voice. Bruh, in my head I'm imagining Hobson like, tell me where the, the club is, bitch. <laughs> Y'all get in the comment section down below and let me know what you thought. Were you digging it or were you not? If so, tell me why. If not, tell me why. Let's talk about it. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, guys. Peace out. I'm out of here.